Hello and welcome to Treble D Solid. This video is for people who use SketchUp Pro or SketchUp Make. You may have heard recently that SketchUp is changing. Well, Treble D is changing too. We are changing over to a Solid Group system. Solid Groups are an integral part of SketchUp and they're very powerful tools for 3D modeling. If you're not familiar with the concept of solid groups, please check out this YouTube video by SketchUp. In the old Treble D, doors and windows were nested inside the walls and our doors and windows used a push face system to create openings in walls. This system had the potential to cause headaches with somewhat random and unexpected reversing of faces that then needed to be edited or cleaned up. Solid Groups is a much cleaner way to work with SketchUp. It's much quicker, no cleanup, no reversed faces, and you end up with a perfect model that's good to go for export to layout or to 3D printing. This is a typical new Treble D module. It's actually much simpler. If we open up a model, we can see it has shells. Shells are the walls and floors, and all Treble D shells are solid groups. Doors and windows are no longer nested inside the walls. They are simply inside the module along with everything else such as furniture, fittings and fixtures, and text. If we hide the rest of the model, we can see that Treble D windows now have a solid group nested inside them. This replaces the old push face, and this solid group will now cut the opening in the wall. To design any building in Treble D, you move the modules onto the grid and just arrange them around however you want. The, the modules will overlap and Treble D is uh, based on an on-center system and it's been done this way to reflect the way that buildings are actually constructed. So this is an actual project. This is uh, just a very simple preliminary concept model for a client. It's an Airbnb house and we'll use this as a demonstration. Once you have all your modules in place, you will eventually want to combine them into a single group for presentation, and here's how to do that. Before we begin, as always, we need to save a copy just in case we mess it up. So we use the save a copy as function. Now we make all our modules a group and assign it to the level one layer. Now we need to check the group just to make sure it only has modules in it. Otherwise we might end up exploding something that we don't want to explode and have some dramas. So we need to check it and we do that by deselecting the module layer. And as you can see there's this window here floating in space that we included somehow in the design process. and we forgot to put it inside the module. So we'll fix that up, copy it, delete it, and paste it into the module. So now we select all the modules, check the entity info box, and it says, all modules and so we're good to go. We select the modules and explode. Now we go to our shell scene and select all our shells. We need to do a quick check once again just to see that they are all solid groups and every shell must be a solid group for this to work. So we check the enter the info box and we can see there is a potential problem. It should be saying seven solid groups, but it just says seven groups. So 
we can see that one of the shells is not a solid group. So somewhere in the design process, we change this module and it's no longer a solid group. So we need to fix that up and it's very simple. We use this plugin, it's called Solid Inspector 2 by TomTom. It's really handy, it saves a lot of time, but if you don't want to use the plugin, you can check it yourself manually. To combine our shells into one group, we go to the shells scene and we use solid tools. So we use the onion tool, um, I mean the union tool, and join any two shells. Then we continue to add another shell one at a time and it gradually gets bigger until you're all done. So when it's finished, we check the entity info box and assign the result to the shells layer. And then we select all the faces inside and also assign them to the shells layer. We do this because the union process would have shifted some geometry onto the level O layer. So there we go, no cleanup required and everything is perfect in a solid group. So now for the windows, here's a module, this is our shell. So we need to cut holes in the shell for our windows. So we go to the D and W scene, which is doors and windows of course. And there's our windows for level one. So we select all our windows in the group and select explode. So then we go back to the shell scene and we can see our window boxes. And while they're still highlighted, we make group, open the group and select all the boxes and we choose explode. So this is going to expose the solid blocks that will cut our holes. So now you can see I've got two windows next to each other here and we need to remove this line between them just to create a solid block. So if there's two windows next to each other it will create a problem with this system. So now in the shell scene, we can use the subtract tool. We select the windows block and then we subtract it from the shell block and the openings will be cut nice and clean. No reversed faces and a perfect solid group. And we can go to the level one scene and there it is. We go to the floor plan level one, and there it is, beautiful. So there we have it, Treble D Solid Groups. It's free, so give it a whirl. And please feel free to leave a comment below, or if you've got any questions, please make a comment. And you can, of course, download Treble D for free from trebled.com. Cheers.